uh, hey everybody, I wanted to do another writing video here. Um, I got a comment on a video um, talking about serialization and what's the difference in writing something that is serialized as, as compared to just like writing a novel or something like that. Um, and it's not so much, because you could, you could serialize everything, or anything, but how effective it is, is how important that is, I guess is the best way to put it. So, like, if you are... writing a novel. You write each chapter and you know like, okay, well this chapter is going to end with um, this character walking towards the beach. Um, the next chapter is going to end with um, my main character finally asking the girl of his dreams out on a date <clears throat> and um, so on and so forth now depending on what you're writing about to serialize that um, the idea there would be to everything has to have stakes if there are no stakes in anything really nobody should care and I think um, that's a big complaint that um, a lot of people have with modern literature that there doesn't seem to be any stakes with anything everything's just like this is what the person did or wait no because everything's present tense so this is what the person does and that's the end of the chapter so, like, instead of saying, he called the girl of his dreams up to ask her out on a date, and she said yes, it would be, he called the girl up to ask her out on a date, but didn't know if he'd have the courage to do so. And she says hello, and he's like, hey, and she says, are you okay? It seems like you want to tell me something. And he's like, I do, but dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that would be the cliffhanger for the next chapter. So the idea with serialization as well is you have to do something to hook somebody to want to come back next week or next month to continue the story. So now you don't know if he's going to be able to talk to her. So now the next week comes along and... Um, the next chapter is their phone conversation. And, like, with this analogy, you have to, like, build up suspense and build up um, the tension of, like, you know, his hands are sweaty, his heart's beating through his chest, like, he could feel the pulse in his brain, like, he doesn't know if he's going to be able to do it or not. And then he finally says, like, hey, I just wanted to know if, like, you wanted to go get a cup of coffee or something. And he can't believe he did it. And she's like, oh. Because like she didn't see that coming, let's say. <clears throat> and then uh, instead of her saying, okay, let's go do that. This chapter ends with him saying, like, okay, um, if she doesn't say yes, I'm going to put this gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. You know, like, I, this is a horrible example, but you see what's happening here. Like, there has to be stakes all the time. So it's almost like every chapter of your book has to have your rising action and climax, rising action and climax, rising action and climax. Like, it has to keep moving to the, to, to the point where um, the person reading it feels like they can't even breathe. You know, like, 
um, when I wrote Black Star Canyon and the Black Star books, like, it was just like, every chapter is a cliffhanger. There's tons of characters, and they all have their own thing going on. And all the characters have stakes, and they're at different levels. Um, and some of the greatest comments, like, I would get on those books or in reviews, like, I threw my Kindle across the room when the book ended. Like, that's awesome to me. Like, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what happens, you know, like, that's, like, the, the state, the stakes have to be there. Um, and with modern fiction, like, if you've heard people say this, like, they say, like, yeah, I read, like, 200 pages of this book, and it was interesting, it was good, but nothing really happened. When you serialize something, things have to happen, because if they don't, people aren't going to come back. And depending on how you are serializing something, um, it kind of doesn't even, it kind of doesn't even matter, you know, because like, unless you're going to do like a weekly thing on your website or on Wattpad or, um, even just releasing like chapters on Amazon, like Amazon used to be really, um, easy for serialization, and what made it cool was how the algorithms worked. So, like, you could constantly have stuff coming out, and the algorithm would really push your stuff because the same book is coming out technically because it's like just the next chapter in this saga or something like that. Um, but I can't remember what year it was, but the Amazon did something. I think it was like 2016, 2015 or 2016. They changed, they tweaked the algorithm a little bit. And so the eyes you would get on something like that, that would repeat business wasn't as, um, wasn't as nice as it used to be, I guess is the best way to put it. It wasn't the Kindle Gold Rush anymore, you know? Um, so I've noticed that, um, Amazon is doing a better job with doing series books and so that's kind of the same thing, you know, you, and this is just like writing cliffhangers, like, when you do serialized books now, the idea is you have an ongoing arc for your main character, and um, each individual book has a beginning, a middle, and an end. But the arc for your character, depending on how many books you have, has a beginning, middle, and end. And so the easiest way to do this is with a trilogy. So, um, like, the arc for your character is going to go over the three books, but then each book has its own, like, arc, like a beginning, middle, and end. And so when you're ending a book like that, you need to have a satisfying conclusion for the book or else people are going to get pissed have a satisfying conclusion for that book but then like you'll have like an epilogue or something like that where um you know like everything was good and everyone was happy but when I'm totally mixing my metaphors here when Frodo looks up he sees the man in black standing on the hill and the man in black waves and then walks to walks west. And Frodo knows that he's running out of time. So even though like there's like a celebration and Frodo did whatever the hell it is Frodo did in my pretend story here, um, 
he has the man in black from the damn gunslinger now. Like, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, but you guys see what I'm saying. So, like, that's how you do your cliffhangers on a series, if that makes sense. But cliffhangers are key for serialization. And it got to the point, I think, and I think this is where people, like, got burnt out on them because they were so ridiculous. Like, when in the 50s when they were doing like serialized um things before movies like flash gordon and stuff like that like it would show your hero going off a cliff and the car blowing up come back next week to find out what happens and then you realize when you come back next week that from a different camera angle he obviously jumped out of the car and sometimes it would be so bad and blatant like not only did he jump out of the car, even though you saw him in the car go over the cliff at last week, but he got out of the car, like, out of the driver's side, the side you actually did see, and um, the car blew up. So it's like, that was just, like, playing with people. So then people knew, like, oh, he'll be fine next week. This is so stupid. So you can't... Um, you, you can't treat your audience like idiots, but you have to have stakes. And it doesn't need to be life or death every time. It could be, like, will she go out with him or not? Um, it could be when he gets to the beach, like, is his wallet still going to be in the sand? You know, like... Um, oh, he really wants a piece of lemon meringue. Will they have any at the diner? Come back next week. Now, that's a horrible cliffhanger, but it's a cliffhanger. And depending on how you put that together, that could actually work. You know, like, you know, whatever. So, I think you guys get the idea. If you have any questions about this or specifics, um, let me know and I'll try to tackle that. And hopefully explain that better. So, see ya.